Before making the basketball target, we should improve our hierarchy a little bit. If you look in this scene, you're going to see a list of elements, and all of these elements are game objects. Okay? These objects are the basic entity in Unity, the basic thing that you can add behaviors to. So to improve this a little bit, we're going to right-click here, choose Create Empty, and we're going to rename this game object as Game Controller and make sure that its position is 0, 0, 0. Okay. Now we're going to get everyone and drag from here and drop inside the game controller. So it's going to be inside uh, it in the hierarchy. Now we're going to make another empty game object and we're going to name this as the scenario. Okay. It could be other names. And right now we're just going to select the floor and drag it inside the scenario. So nothing visually here changed, but structurally, this is much better for us to work with. Now we want to make the target. I'm going to right click, choose create empty, and rename this game object as target. Okay, and this might be a little abstract to understand now, but what we want to do is to get this target and move it here to this position. I'm going to get the values for you. So Z is going to be 80, actually, eight and y is going to be minus one. Okay, so actually it should be a little bit lower. I think it's minus one and a half. Yes, we're going to use minus one and a half. We do this because we want the target to be right above the floor. This is going to be kind of the origin of the basketball target. Okay, basically this is what we're going to do here. Just put the, the numbers here and it's going to be in this position. Now, Let's right click on target, choose 3D object and select cube. Okay, this is going to be the pole. So I'm going to select the cube here and rename it to pole. I'm going to change the scale on X to something smaller, so 0 0.2. Z is going to be 0 0.2 as well. And Y it's going to be 5. Okay. The vertical position for the pole is going to be two and a half, so it's going to be standing like this. Okay, this is basically the pole. Okay, so we're just organizing its position, so it's going to start where our target game object started, okay, which is in this position, right? So this is everything we need for the pole. Now we're going to make the board that is going to, to hold the hoop. So select the target, right click, 3D object, and then cube like this. We're going to set its position on Y to be, let me check here, 5. So it's going to be at the top of the pole. The scale on X is going to be 2. Y is going to be 2 as well. And Z can be something like 0 0.3. Okay, so X should be larger a little bit. Let's use 3. Good. And now we have to make the hoop. So th that is going to be where the player has to, to hit the ball. Okay, let me just rename the cube here to board. And now right click. And for this one, it, it's a bit more complex. We're going to need to make three elements. So I'm going to select create empty again, rename this to hoop. And its position is going to be five on Y. Okay, actually a little bit lower. So 4.25, for example. Okay, now in the hoop, right click, 3D object cube. We have this one. Let's change its scale on X to be very small, 0 0.2. Y is going to be 0 0.2 as well, and it's going to look like this. Okay, it's fine to be uh, to to have a little part coming out of the board. Okay, let's again right click on the hoop, 3D object, and cube. We're going to make something uh, practically identical to that. So 0 0.2 on X, 0 0.2 on Y. And we're going to change the position of this to be around here. Okay, let's use minus 0 0.5, uh, just a bit more, minus 0 0.8 on x. Z should be minus 1. And now we're going to make the opposite of this element. We're going to right click on it and choose duplicate. This is going to save us a lot of time. Because now that we have a duplicate for this element, you can change its horizontal position to be uh, the opposite of whatever we have here. So if you have minus 0 0.8, we remove the minus sign and it's going to be here. Okay. And now to complete this, we're going to duplicate this cube once again, but this time we're going to change its x position to be 0. 
we are going to rotate this okay so we go to the rotation on Y and change it to 90 and now Z we need to, to move to something else so let's try minus one and a half then the scale on X actually I think it's on Z yes we're going to use something like 1.8 so it's going to look like this okay and finally we duplicate this cube once more and move its its X position and its Z position actually to be around here okay so this is basically what you need to make the hoop if it is uh, too small you can just select whatever element you you want and find change its position so just select the cube here for example move it to the left you see the the value for the Z position is going to change it's going to be different but that's fine and then you can select both of these uh, hoop parts you can move them here and to make them bigger instead of using the moving tool you can use the scaling tool okay then you just grab this blue cube and drag it around okay so this is the look that it, this is going to have okay and just so we don't make this completely white let's just change the color for it we're going to materials folder right click create and material I'm going to make a pole material we're going to make a hoop material and we're also going to make a board material so we have these uh, three new materials as for the board I'm going to choose a, a light red like this one the hoop is going to be completely black so I'm going to choose this color and the pole can be silver I'm going to get uh, this one now that we did this we can just select the material drop it here for the pole this one for the board and for the hoop you would have to drag and drop into all of these elements but here's a tip for you if you select all of the cubes at the same time so you can select the first one by clicking on it holding shift and selecting the last one and here in the mesh render component you can expand the materials and then you get the hoop material drag and drop here where it says element zero okay so this is the basic design that we have for the hoop okay uh, however if we press play right now we just have the player standing here we have uh, the basketball target we we don't have the ball yet we don't have the basketball to actually perform the throwing so we're going to make a very basic basketball here in this scenario we're going to right click choose create empty and actually not create empty let's do this in a quicker way right click 3d object and we choose sphere okay this is going to make a sphere as the name says okay so let's rename the sphere to ball all right and let's make a color for it in the materials folder right click create material ball then we go to the color picker here and we're going to choose an orange color okay a bit more reddish like this so we drag it and drop here all right however if you press the play button the basketball is going to be hovering around okay it's not falling uh, no physics are being applied into this basketball to do this it's actually pretty simple we need to do something extra because even though there are physics in the first person shooter controller uh, well it, it is already implemented we don't know how to activate that but it is actually pretty simple you just select the ball click on add component in the inspector and you're going to search for rigid body and then you click it here just by doing that if you press the play button then the ball is going to fall to the ground okay you can even walk on top of it and it's going to be rolling in this scene that we built and it's going to basically fall okay and now that we have this uh, we should work on a logic for making the player to be holding the ball so then later we can perform the throwing let's do this in the next lesson